two tonight, Kenya makes its usual strong showing, sweeping the men's and women's races in the BAA half marathon. As WBC's Lisa Greshi shows us, even for the elite competitors, it was no easy feat. Off. 9,000 runners took part in this year's BAA half marathon. The 13.1 mile race is something many look forward to. I've been running this. This is my first, fourth year, and it was my first race ever four years ago. So it's like kind of a special race for me, and it was just a good excuse to hang out, so do something physical. The course, one of a kind. I think the course is very unique. Uh, it runs along the Emerald Necklace on the Riverway, Abbeyway, Jamaica Way, and. It starts here at Franklin Park and finishes right on the track at White Stadium. So there's a lot of elements and, and um, dynamics that come into play that make this uh, a bucket list uh, race for people to do. The race director says not only is the course unique, it's the whole vibe of the race. Just here for fun. I think there are all different levels here, and it's very welcoming. You don't have to be an elite to run this race. Speaking of the elite, the winner for the men jumped through the finish line. Celebrating his third win in Boston. Because I, I, I was excited to be a champion today because I, I, I did a lot of training to make myself to be a champion today. And the winner for the women is no stranger to this race. She won last year. It's so amazing to be to, to win again in Boston because I, as I said, Boston is my lucky city. All the time I come here, I just come and win. So for today, I really feel so good to win again in Boston. It was an especially close race for the women. She thanks her three-year-old daughter for this win. She was the one who keeps me going, being a mother, actually. So I'm so happy because this win is just because I think about her and I'm just strong again. Reporting in Boston, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.